A virus outbreak has university officials at College Park concerned. One student died from the adenovirus earlier this month, and others have now come down with the virus. Yeah, health officials at the University of Maryland are now looking into this outbreak. WMAR 2 News' Don Harrison was at College Park today. Has more for us. Students at the University of Maryland have more on their minds than their studies. Now a small virus outbreak has their attention. Yeah, it's kind of, it makes people kind of nervous. On November 18th, a Howard County freshman died from the adenovirus. Her father says her immune system was compromised from medications she took from Crohn's disease. Many students on campus are aware of the outbreak. I'm a little worried about it just because I get sick a fair amount. I mean, everyone does. It's college, but I got the flu shot, so hopefully I'll be okay. Some wonder if the ongoing mold problem at the university has any correlation to the adenovirus outbreak. In a letter to students on Monday, David McBride, the director of the university's health center, said it appears that there is no consistent connection between mold exposure and the incidence of the adenovirus infection. Governor Larry Hogan is aware of the problem as well. But we're going to try to make sure that the university system and the University of Maryland College Park gets to the bottom of this. This is flu season after all. University officials are encouraging students to follow the protocol to keep their environment sanitary. They send us emails for flu season, just say like always wash your hands, you antibacterial soap. Um, I work in the convenience store over here and they gave us protocol as well, just because so many people coming through, make sure you disinfect everything and uh, take the extra step since it's bad this year. Doctors say the virus usually is not fatal unless the person infected is already suffering from other pre-existing medical problems. I think it's definitely a little bit more scary here because everybody's so close, everybody uses the same facilities. It's, it's worse than when you're at home with just your family. It was probably just like an isolated, few isolated cases, but hopefully it won't spread anymore. In College Park, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.